It all started in December 2017 at the Rooster Teeth holiday party. But before we go there, we have to go all the way back to when they first met, all the way back in 2013. In RTX 2013, over a year before he even worked at Rooster Teeth, Trevor, along with Kat and Jeremy, volunteered to help Barbara lift some boxes. And then Barbara posted this photo on Twitter, thanking them for their help. But now fast forward to 2017, both Barbara and Trevor were in pretty bad spots where they weren't happy with their relationship lives. Barbara had been using lots of dating apps for a while and hated it, while Trevor was getting out of a really bad relationship. They were both aware of each other and had worked together before, with Barbara even thinking that Trevor was cute. But they never had a reason to get together, especially since for so many of the years that they knew each other, they were both in other relationships. But this all changed at the company holiday party in December 2017, where Barbara was a little drunk. And when she saw that Trevor was by himself, she was like, Ooh, that cute boy over there is all alone. I should go talk to him, just to, you know, see if he's okay as all. But then things changed again when Barbara found out through Wes, the company photographer, that Trevor was single. And Barbara was like, mm -hmm. Then I found out through actually Wes that he was now single. And he floated in the network. Drunk right Barbara made uh, no wasted time. Really? And throughout the night, they chatted and got to know each other. Trevor had recently gotten out of a really bad relationship with a very manipulative and abusive partner, and Barbara was incredibly kind and supportive to him. And from these conversations, they realized that they actually connected quite a bit, and later that night, had their first kiss. After the party, in late December to early January, Barbara and Trevor started to see each other casually, going out to get drinks, but never doing anything super serious. They kept it pretty under wraps, but Barbara started telling her close friends like Mariel, Gavin, and Jessica. I remember when you first told me. We were at my house. Remember that? <gasps> yes, I was. Yeah. Yeah. And you were like, I have something to tell you. And I was like, <gasps> she was like, I have a crush on someone. I was like, is it me? <laughs> <laughs> me, finally? Still waiting. Yeah, you were, you were trying to <laughs> Trevor was pretty nervous about seeing Barbara like this. Since she was so confident and forward, it kind of scared him a little. But in reality, they were both pretty nervous because they were both really interested in each other, but they were also co-workers. There was no way of them knowing if this would turn into a relationship or if it was just a fling. And they were worried that if things ended badly, it would affect their work at Rooster Teeth, especially since so much of what they do is based around the group dynamic and them all being friends. So if they broke up, things could get really ugly and everyone else would suffer because of it. So even though they really liked each other and were bonding really well, they were both very hesitant about dating. But Barbara, who had been in so many relationships before, was tired of all the faff involved in dating, so she just wanted to be upfront. But also, in her previous relationships, if something was bothering her, she tended to give it to herself and bottle it up, which could cause problems in a relationship. But she really liked Trevor, so she knew that with him, it was time to start being more open. On the other side, Trevor also really liked Barbara and wanted to see her more, but was also worried about dating a coworker. So he confided in his brother, asking him for advice on what to do. And when Alfredo heard the story, all he said was, you two are adults and you're both mature enough to handle it, so just be open with each other. So they both got together and talked, deciding that they were gonna be honest and upfront and just be open with who they were, what they were worried about and what they wanted with no judgment. And these very open conversations really worked for them because they were just so candid and open with each other that they actually got to know each other pretty deeply and realized that they connected on almost every level. And so at first I think we were very much like, this is a bad idea, we shouldn't be mm -hmm. hanging out, we shouldn't be pursuing this, but then like, we just never wanted to stop hanging out. Yeah. So later, at the beginning of February 2018, during RTX Sydney, Barbara and Trevor made the relationship official and shared the news to their close friends. And a couple days later on Valentine's Day, they made the relationship public. So they started their relationship by being open with each other with no judgment, and they still carry this mantra years later, constantly emphasizing open, non-judgmental conversations with your partner. Also, they call each other sweetness, which is just the cutest thing ever. Oh, sweetness. Sweetness, thank you so much for joining me and... He's like, yes, you eat it. What you do it? Oh my god. god. If anything, I think their story goes to show how important open communication with your partner is. They were both scared about dating as coworkers and it was really bothering them. But because they were just honest and open with each other with no judgment, they were able to overcome that and be happy together. So congrats on three years, Barbara and Trevor. You two are an inspiration that it may take a while, or you may need to find a weird way to do it, but keep looking and you'll find the one you're looking for. Oh.